And welcome to how to prepare for a 10 day maximum weight loss challenge. I am on the right. I'm Jean Schumacher. And I'm Nancy. I'm on the left. But let me formally introduce Nancy to you. I call her my search queen of hearts because she's like taking a big, warm, fuzzy blanket and wrapping it around you. She's just so kind and caring. She has completed her plant based nutrition certificate from e Cornell, and she is the admin for Plant Based Chica. And I would like to introduce Jean Schumacher. Jean has her doctorate in science education. She's taught chemistry, biology, and environmental sciences for over 30 years. Jean has her plant-based certificate from Cornell University, has her starch-based certificate through the Dr. McDougall program. She is also the admin for Westchester, New York, and is my queen of diamonds. For everything that I had just said, Jean is amazing. We are following the Dr. McDougall program for maximum weight loss. So you should have gotten this book and should have started reading this and completed reading it. It's a pretty short read, but it's good to have everybody on the same page with the same book. It's absolutely a must. You need to have the maximum weight loss program so that you understand the foundation for which Dr. McDougall wrote it and the recipes for which Mary and Dr. McDougall wrote that gives us the proper starch to veggie ratio so that we can trigger fat loss and weight loss in our bodies. The first step is to sanitize your home. Get rid of the non-compliant foods, you know, the dairy, the meats, and the breads, the oils, all the high fat foods like nuts, avocados, things like that and get rid of the coffee. Yep, I agree. Coffee for me is one of the last um, standard American diet food items that I have given up, but it took me over five years. So don't let coffee be a deal breaker for you. We've had people say, well, I can't join your program because I'm not gonna give up my coffee. Well, it's more important to give up the meat, the dairy, the fish, the oil, the salt, and the sugar than the coffee. You can come off of coffee at a slower pace and it will not affect the healing effects of a plant-based diet. So don't let coffee deter you from joining our program. Just make mindful choices of it and make a conscious effort to start decreasing your coffee intake. Switch to a green tea. That's what Jean and I did. You also need to educate yourself. The first, one of the first places you're going to want to go to is drmcdougal.com. It is probably one of the most amazing websites there is. You can go under the search bar menu and just find all kinds of articles, movies, you name it. You could spend literally months on this. If you go under education, under videos, there are a couple lectures we really would like you to watch. They're under the free e-lecture. The first one, the first video is marketing milk and disease that we want you to watch. And the next video is the starch solution. Please take time to watch these. They're powerful. I agree. They changed the course of my life. And then under education, under recipes, under McDougal recipes, there's probably about 2,000 recipes. They're not all maximum weight loss compliant. Some are a little bit more richer than others. There is a link to over 500 recipes that is maximum weight loss compliant, and you'll see those in the groups. There's also uh, featured recipe videos. These are all my videos that I've made for Dr. McDougall. This is my humble way of saying thank you for everything that I've learned from him. There's also the McDougall cookbook app, which is fantastic. The McDougall app is $4.99, if I remember correctly, and it's worth every single cent. Now, keep in mind, not every recipe on the McDougall app is maximum weight loss compliant, but a huge percentage is, percentage is. And the app, you can build recipes, and it also makes your grocery list, so you can have your, right at the palm of your hand, you have a tool that you can use when you go to the grocery store. We highly recommend it. The next thing to do is prepare. You have to prepare yourself in so many different ways. First of all, from you know, cleaning out your home, to then going shopping, and then going on to prepare. We call it shop, chop, and prep. And usually you're going to be doing this on between Saturday and Sunday, and you want to be doing things like batch cooking. But first of all, you've got to figure out what, before you can start cooking, you've got to figure out what. What am I going to eat, and what do I need to purchase? And there's a great little file that we've created for you that will help you to do this. But also we've created a weekly progress report. We want you to eat 
your veggies before you have your starch. So we recommend doing something like kale or kale with some spinach, steaming that, have that first before you have your breakfast. Then eat your lunch, the same thing, have a salad or greens or some kind of veggie first. Then eat your starch to satiation. Same thing for dinner. When you have two fruits per day, we also recommend you do at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. Yep. All of these are part of how you will be successful in the Maximum Weight Loss Program. An exercise can be as simple as a 30-minute walk around your neighborhood or on your treadmill. You just want to make sure and move. Shop, chop, prepare. Once you've figured out what you're going to eat, then you're going to start to prepare these foods. I like, I'm a berry queenaholic, and I prepare these. This is for my husband and myself. I'll make this at least for three days. I'll do this on Sunday. So I've got these containers in the refrigerator, ready to go. I put them into my cooler, and we're off in the morning. So I do that. I make a berry medley. I also make my salads in a container, and I use the Italian dressing from Kim Campbell. This is probably one of the most amazing dressings. I just love this. But Nancy, what do you do with jars? I love um, the salad jars for the convenience of how easily they store in the refrigerator. Plus, I have a food saver with the jar attachment. And I have found that the greens will stay crisp and fresh along with any vegetables that I put in the jar by vacuum sealing them. The attachment you can get on Amazon for literally $5. And you just use the ring in the seal. I've had salads that I've put in a jar on Sunday vacuum sealed and eaten them the following Saturday and they were as fresh as the day that I put the greens and the veggies in on Sunday. So I'm a big fan of salad jars. Plus I can shove a whole ton of greens, lettuce, veggies in there. And I literally, when you pull it out, it's like an accordion of greens. It comes in a big salad bowl. So you can cram everything in there. And then I do not put my salad dressing in there so I keep my salad dressing separate and then add it once I open the jar and put it in my salad bowl. Another thing I do is that steamed kale on the left. I'll steam a bunch, maybe one or two days of kale. I also prepare carrots and celery. Those are my snacks throughout the day. This is not about deprivation. We want you to eat. We want you to be full. Yeah, there's, this is a plant-based diet. This is not a diet where you're, ca- even though it's the maximum weight loss program, you're not counting calories you're not counting portions. What you are doing is you are incorporating non-starch veggies with a complex carbohydrate starch like brown rice and potatoes and sweet potatoes and oatmeal and having like Jean has here, the celery, the carrots, the kale. These are all very low calorically dense foods that are very filling and they actually have a net effect that takes your body you burn more calories digesting them than the intake of the calories from the food. So these are a, a great snack item. We like the infused balsamic vinegar from Bima and Paws. They're just, you just drizzle a little bit on the kale and it's amazing. I actually like to use the, I've been using the Bima and Paws uh, racy mango to dip my cucumbers in. So I sliced up and peeled some cucumbers from my friend's garden and then dipping them in the balsamic vinegar, absolutely delicious. It is delicious. The raisin mango is my personal favorite. Pineapple is my second favorite. But once you've got everything, you've shopped, chopped, prepped, this is what my fridge looks like on a Sunday evening. So I'm set. First thing in the morning, I'll just pull my food out, put it into my cooler, and I'm set to go. And this is how my refrigerator looks, too. I have my salads, though, in a salad jar, and our soups are in salad jars. And I also make potatoes in advance using the Instant Pot and the Crock Pot. So in the refrigerator, I will have several bowls of potatoes that have been pre-cooked for the week. You can pre-cook your potatoes and put them in a bowl. You do not want to cover them. You want them to breathe and have them at ready so that if you're going to run out the door to a baseball game or a soccer game or to go to shopping, and you need a fast food, you just grab a potato right out of there and eat it. Cold potatoes and cold sweet potatoes are an excellent snack. Okay, so on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, as Nancy was talking about, you're going to want to batch cook. There's all different kinds of grains that are out there. There's all different types of beans. I keep some type of bean in my fridge as well. I also keep, as Nancy mentioned, potatoes cooked in my fridge. 
I also prepare some kind of rice. I like the brown short grain rice. And sweet potatoes, as Nancy had mentioned, are fantastic sources. You can use these for soups or salads to add a little bit of carbohydrates. We recommend the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is a great kitchen appliance. I have the 6-quart and the 8-quart, and I use them both. I actually had three pressure cookers going this past Sunday. I had beans being cooked in one. I had rice cooking in one, and in my 8-quart, I had um, corn on the cob cooking, so I had three pressure cookers going at the same time here in California. It was 105 on Saturday, so I didn't heat my house up by using my oven. They're a great investment. There's a lot of resources at starchqueens.net, which is our website. Under videos, you can see a ton of different cooking videos, interviews, the show that I do with Kim Campbell, Plant-Based Living. We've got all kinds of resources for the Starch Queens and talking about a 10-day challenge. So lots of good things, lots of good recipes. What I like about the Starch Queens website is you can also see a lot of other educational links to Dr. McDougall, Dr. Deal Barnard, various plant-based doctors, so that you can start building your plant-based foundation. Many of you are in various phases of your transition. Maybe some of you are just starting a weight loss program, and Dr. McDougall's is your first. So get familiar with StarchQueens.net. Jean has taken a lot of time and put a lot of effort into building this website that is an excellent tool to build your plant-based foundation. When you go under my videos, there is three that we absolutely recommend that you watch. The first one is what is whole food plant-based living. The other one is how to begin whole food plant-based living and then tips and tricks. Another one that's a really great one is are we omnivores, herbivores, or carnivores? Great video. Great. One of the things that's going to happen within your body is about day three, most likely you're going to start to burn fat and you're going to release some of the toxins in your body. What happens is there's two main types of chemicals. There's fat-soluble and water-soluble. If you have something that's water-soluble, you're going to pee it out of your body and get rid of it. If it's fat-soluble, you're going to store it in your fat cells. So as you start to burn these fats, you're going to start to release a lot of toxins. Your body can respond in a lot of different ways. The good news is it's temporary. You may feel... You know, you might have a pimple or a headache or some nausea or hives or rashes or just feeling tired or feel like you have the flu coming on. It's only going to last for a short period of time. You've got to work through it. Nancy, tell us about what happened to you. Or I was going to say, or in my case, you flood the sheets. I am postmenopausal, or I thought I was. My, my brain and my uterus think I'm postmenopausal, but I got a whole lot of toxins apparently still stored in my fat layer. Um, Jean and I were in with our other challengers in our second challenge that we had done. At about day three, in the middle of the night, I woke up in a pool of sweat. I literally drenched the sheets. I thought, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Then I got up, changed the sheets, took a shower, went back to bed, and not an hour, hour and a half later, I did it again. I had a full-on night sweat, you know, where it looks like the outline of a dead body on the side of the street. I was just literally a, a body image of sweat on the sheet. So same thing. I pulled the sheets off. I got in the shower. By now, it's getting early morning, and I felt crappy. I didn't feel good, so I thought, I'm just going to get up, take another shower. I had a headache, and I got up, and I did a video of it, and then Jean said, you know, this is, this is detox. And it had dawned on me that, yeah, I was really into the throes of the, the challenge and being 100% compliant, and my body released toxins, and it was, it was a true detox. And the, the, ne the next day, I felt really good. So a couple of ways that you can take care of this and help yourself to recover from this is to drink tea like peppermint or chamomile. You want to flood your system. You want to drink water, like infused waters with lemon or lime. That's going to really help to alkalize your body, and that's a great thing. Another thing is to include as much leafy greens as you can, a lot of cilantro and fresh 
fresh herbs. The cilantro will literally help bind if you're detoxing like metals. It'll help to bind directly to that and get it out of your system. So make sure that you're including as much cilantro and fresh herbs as you can as long as with leafy greens. I really increased the cilantro lemon water after having those night sweats, and it really did improve my detox. I, I just have them um, cilantro on my counter all the time, and I put a lemon in my water every day, and it's great for well, you get a little bit of vitamin C out of it, and it tastes good, and it helps alkalize your your body, like you mentioned. And then the other thing is to provide support for you. We created a back group where you can connect. This is one of the wonderful pieces of this. Dr. McDougall says you need to have a support network. And it's really tough if you're like the only person either in your house or your home or your neighborhood or your town or your area that is doing this. And you just feel like you're out there by yourself. No, you're not. You're doing this with other people. So we're here to provide support for you to ask questions, share what you're doing with the rest of the group, post your pictures of, of your food, find some educational videos, share some good recipes. Hey, I like this recipe. This was really good. This is a do-over. And just share nine-scale victories. You know, is your wedding ring feeling a little bit looser? Are your pants feeling looser? What are some other nine-scale victories, Nancy? Well, I actually, I was with my cousin, and she's been following along with Whole Food Plant-Based Lifestyle and has done the 10-Day Challenges a couple times, and she called me because she'd forgotten to tell me. She said, I have to tell you that I got into my shorts that are over 14 years old, and I said, you haven't thrown them away or donated? She said, nope, I had a mission to get into these shorts, and she did, and she was absolutely thrilled. Non-scale victories are, like like Jean said, your jewelry is looser, your clothes are looser, or you're able to do something more physical, like walk an extra mile. There's anything you can do. We have a myriad of posts of non-scale victories. Somebody tried broccoli for the first time. To us, that's a non-scale victory because it's something that you've done outside of your comfort zone, and those are all victories. So we want you to not focus on what the scale says, even though this is a weight loss challenge based on weight and body fat loss, there's more to us than what a number says on the scale. And we want to be able to teach you that and help you learn that. Because like most people, we all have these images in our head that, you know, if that scale doesn't say a certain number, you don't feel worthy. Well, you know, we're all worthy. And as a group support and connecting with each other, we see non-scale victories every single day. So on day one, you're going to weigh yourself. And then again on day 11. And between that, don't get on a scale. It really can start a whole cycle. Oh, I didn't see the weight loss. Oh, gosh, this is not working. This is not just about weight loss. This is about changing your health destiny. And it's a journey. Don't focus on the scale. Focus on what you're eating and what you're doing. We promise you, you will lose weight. We have done, I don't know how many of these 10 loss, 10 days challenges. And I had people private message me that say, I know I'm not going to lose any weight. I haven't lost weight in three years. I've been on a plateau for six months. And I said, are you willing to commit to 10 days of doing the maximum weight loss program by the book? And they said, yes. I said, okay, then let's do this. Let's weigh yourself on day one and weigh yourself the morning of day 11 and see what the scale says. And I had one lady literally in tears. She said, and she lost seven pounds on that first 10 day challenge. And she has consecutively lost between three and four pounds per 10 day challenge. And she's now at goal weight. So you can't doubt yourself. It's just about doing the program as Dr. McDougall has it written in the book. If you cheat, it will be reflected on the scale. If you have a nibble here, a nibble there, it will reflect on the scale. So this is about learning you, your eating habits, and that you can overcome plateaus when following the program, myself included. I was plateaued for months and months and months following a whole food plant-based uh, lifestyle, but I had more nuts, more seeds, more whole grains in my 
diet. By removing them, the scale has started budging again. And I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So I too, like all of you, we're Jean and I are human. We have to follow this program to make the scale move. One of our plant-based doctors says that at any given time, the scale can swing six pounds to the right and six pounds to the left, given what you ate the prior day. If you've had a bowel movement that day, you could be retaining water. If you are in the, the menstruating age group, if it's hot, you could be retaining water out from the humidity and the weather. So there's just so many environmental reasons, hormonal reasons that you could be retaining water or just the fact that you haven't had a bowel movement. And yes, in whole food plant-based lifestyle, we talk about bowel movement. So again, we're just trying to reiterate the fact that you are not a number on the scale. You are a person who is changing their health destiny by following a whole food plant-based lifestyle. And yes, you're in a weight loss challenge group to kickstart that, meet really awesome, great people, share your story so that you can connect with them, they can connect with you, you make a friendship connection, there's no price you can put on that. And so there's so much you can get out of this program, you'll take away forever. And we're excited that you're joining us. Before you begin, please check with your doctor. First of all, to get a blood work phase so that you can compare before and after. Another big thing is if you are taking medications, you need to check in with your doctor to tell them. But the problem is most of them are not going to have a clue what you're talking about because they're not trained in the power of plant-based education. They know how to write a prescription, but they don't understand the nutritional impact and value of plant-based living and what it can do. So a lot of medications can quickly change, especially if you are type 2 diabetic and you're monitoring your blood sugar. You're going to need to do that very closely. Also, if you're taking medication for high blood pressure, because that your blood pressure can come down very quickly within a very short period of time. So if you're still continuing to take the same amount, it could change and it could make you dizzy. Correct. And don't let this frighten you or deter you from starting a plant-based diet. Just communicate with your doctor. Tell them that this is what you're going to do. You're looking forward to seeing the results and that you may be seeing him or calling in to have your dosage adjusted as you find success in the flex style. So we hope we've given you enough tips and tricks to start for this 10-day challenge. You know where we are if you have any questions. We are happy to have you. And if you haven't purchased your McDougal Maximum Weight Loss book yet, please log on to Amazon, get it purchased so that you can start reading. We are ready to get this challenge started. Have a great day.